Welcome back to my review. I just saw Jurassic World. It has Chris Pratt, Dallas Bryce Howard. Nobody from the originals. This is with a K review. I am Victor 2. <laughs> with a K review. It's V-I-C? No, it's with a K. Oh. So before I get into my review of Jurassic World, I really want you guys to go check out these two channels over here. You have Movie Hito Reviews, and this kid really does a great job on his reviews, and I really want to get him some more subscribers. He only has like nine right now. So if you can go over and check out his channel and let him know that I sent you, that would be really awesome. And I would really want you guys to go check out Boss Level 8. These guys do an amazing job on their movie reviews, and they also do something called Critiquing the Critics, where they actually read movie reviews from the critics and just kind of poke fun at them. Please go check out their channels, tell them that I sent you, but now, let's get into Jurassic World. I, damn it, there we go. So when I first started seeing the trailers for Jurassic World, I was a little bit nervous because it's been so long since the first Jurassic Park movie came out that was directed by Steven Spielberg. And to be honest, that is one of my favorite movies of the 90s. That was when CG and actually using real animatronics was really awesome. And then as soon as Steven Spielberg stepped away from it in Jurassic World and then Jurassic Park 3, which was probably the worst of the series, things just started to go downhill. And then they decided to put Chris Pratt in this movie and Dallas Bryce Howard and to reinvent the island. A lot of people think that this movie is like a remake or reboot of the series, and yet it it is kinda. Let me explain. The movie basically follows these two brothers who go to the new Jurassic World island that's been newly reopened, and then Dallas Bryce Howard's character decides, you know what, we need to make something a little bit more better because everybody's really getting bored with seeing a giant triceratops because, you know, people get bored of, of seeing that for whatever reason. So they decide in their infinite wisdom to build the Indominus Rex. And I could show you guys a picture of the Indominus Rex right now, but I want to keep that a little bit of a secret and just kind of tell you what this movie is about and some of the cool things that I thought that it was trying to do. In the past ones, in like Jurassic Park 1, 2, and 3, you had to deal with a lot of other different things. In the first one, it was, you know, not having any power. In the next two, you know, the dinosaurs had control of the island, so it was really us going to their stuff and us having to, like, go around them and deal with the dinosaur. In this movie, it just seems like there's this huge problem with the Indominus Rex. Now, there is this cool thing with this animal because it is smart. It knows what it's doing. It has that really killer instinct that it's going out and trying to find people. And that's the really the cool thing that I liked about this movie is that they're dealing with a smarter dinosaur. And that's what I wish that this movie had dealt with specifically and not the other 30 things that they decided to throw into the movie. You do have the two kids dealing with stuff in their parents. Parents. You also have Dallas Bryce Coward's character and stuff that she's dealing with these kids. And you also have Chris Pratt's character, who is pretty cool. And he also really does remind me of uh, Star-Lord in this movie because he has like a few interactions with Dallas Bryce Howard's character. And it's just like one moment, I swear, I swear to God, it's, it looked like he was having a Star-Lord moment and it was awesome. However, there are just things in this movie that I really don't think that they needed. The romance between, you know, Bryce's character and Pratt's character was good at times, but it just kind of went eh. And then you really have characters even like Vincent D'Onofrio, and then you have one of the doctors from the original Jurassic Park movie that's in there as well. And then you have the stuff with the Velociraptor. It just seems like all these things are kind of pumped into the movie to make it bigger and badder and more sentimental. And I didn't mind it at first, but it just seems like they kept adding stuff all the time. And you can do that in a movie. I don't really mind if you add more things in to make the human characters come out while still looking at, you know, awesome dinosaurs. This movie, I really wish they would have just stuck with Indominus Rex and just not really messed with all the Velociraptors and just kept this movie really simple and that would have made it a lot more fun for me, but I am going to give this movie a strong, very strong 3K review. And you know what? I want you guys to go see this one in theaters for matinee price only. And then when it comes out on video, make sure you rent this one. And when it comes up on streaming, make sure you give out a big Tyrannosaurus Rexical 
but dominant. I don't. I don't know. Just give out a big roar and go see this one on the streaming networks. And as always, thanks for watching my review. Make sure to give me a whack up there if you want to see any of my past reviews. Give me a whack right here if you want to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a little whack dot comment below and let me know what is your favorite part of the first three Jurassic Park movies. Of course, everybody's gonna say the lawyer one. Mine actually is when that little dinosaur spit that stuff in the guy's face. I always thought that was hilarious. But let me know in the comments below. And yeah, never forget, if you guys don't like what you're watching, you can always turn it off. But thanks for coming back and seeing me. See ya.